Okay, so today we are talking about telecommuting. Uh, what is it? Telecommunication is a form of electronic communication, um, and telecommuting is when you're working from home using technology. Uh, so these are all the social and ethical concerns it touches on. Uh, it hits reliability and integrity because, you know, um, intellectual property, uh, authenticity, globalization and cultural diversity, standards and protocols, people and machines and digital citizenship. And it affects all of these through the fact that it's completely remote, meaning you're not actually going to work, you're working from home and you're communicating with your boss and your other coworkers through programs like Skype or phones. So all of these easily fit under that, like off, or your digital citizenship, for instance, is easily affected because you're using Skype to communicate as opposed to actually communicating in person. Oh my God. So the different scenarios that this topic touches on are business and employment because you're pretty much self-employed if you're working from home and your employer could also let you work from home so it involves employment. Um, education and training because if you're at home you won't be getting the most up-to-date training as if you were at your office where they have training sessions regularly and you also won't be like as apt to do those online courses and get like all your certifications and it'll be more challenging for you to upgrade yourself to keep up to date on the most. Uh, I wasn't done. <laughs> and also it, it'll, it will touch on the environment because it'll have a positive effect because there'll be less CO2 emissions being released into the atmosphere because when you drive your car to work, you're releasing CO2 into the atmosphere. So it'll cut down on that because you'll be working from home. And also home and leisure, because when you're working from home, it'll affect your leisure time because when you're working, you'll want to do other things and it'll be, you'll have to have more self-discipline to keep yourself away from that stuff and more focused on your work. So in this picture, they're telecommuting. They're all at different places, but yet they're still talking to each other via Skype or FaceTime, whatever that program is that they happen to be using. Okay, so some of the systems that are involved in telecommuting are the hardware and the software of the computers you're using, as well as the networks and the internet, because you have to be able to access the internet in order to connect to everyone else that's at the office. And then depending on what your line of work is, uh, you may also be using multimedia, uh, databases, and personal and public communications. So some advantages of telecommuting is it gives you a very flexible schedule. You can pretty much, as long as you're getting stuff done and you're working relatively productively, you don't have to spend a set amount of time at work. You can work until you're done. Um, so you can save time and money from actually commuting and driving to work. Uh, it's better for the environment. It's better ergonomics because you'll probably be able to spend more money on your chair and whatnot so you can actually be healthy while you work. Um, it saves on office space and expenses. It kind of ties into ergonomics. Uh, it reduces the uses of automobile, which ties into the environment. Uh, you could see an increase of productivity depending on who you are. Uh, reduces importance of geography, so you could have somebody working for you in America, but they live in China. It sort of gets rid of that um, requirement to have people working for you. But disadvantages, you have to make sure all your employees, if you're the employer, you have to make sure they all have very good self-discipline because otherwise they'll just end up goofing off all day. Uh, same with time management or uh, they're also not really socializing with their coworkers. They might not know what they're doing. You don't really have your coworkers uh, synergizing well with each other. Um, they're all sort of detached from the company, and you can't really keep track of them very well. And then these are our sources. <laughs> <laughs>